Hey y'all, so I just wanted to make a video to let you guys know what's going on with The Real Paul Show. At this point, we are practically in the middle of The Real Paul Show break between seasons. The first season, I did not expect to take off like it did. It really took off and I'm excited for that because it's becoming more than I ever dreamed that it would be. So I've got all of these interviews uh, recorded and I'm editing them and placing them in the future. Look for the lineup and everything here within the next week or so. I'm gonna set up a lineup so that it will give you kind of a little description of each podcast episode that's coming up. And it'll give you an idea of what you might wanna listen to, what you might find fascinating. Uh, I have been talking with some really awesome musicians that I believe that you guys will really, really enjoy listening to. Uh, got some exciting news also. I've started a second podcast. Uh, being that I do podcasts, I also listen to podcasts. And one of them I've noticed has multiple podcasts. And so I got this idea, you know, it's okay to have more than one. Um, being that the Real Paul show uses a lot of edit time though, I've had to figure out a method where I could do a second show and fit it into my schedule. So what I did was I created Ramblings of a Fellow Sojourn, which basically I take a recorder with me everywhere I go. And whenever I start to feel depressed, anxious, whatever, I pull out my phone recorder and I record a short, maybe two to three minute piece on the thought processes that are going on through my head, the anxiety, why am I feeling anxious right now, that kind of thing. And that's it. I take that recording, put it away in my phone. It's kind of like a journal for me. So what I do then is I go back and I pick up any little thought clip that I might want to use for the show. And I'll set it up, I'll play the clip, and I'll dissect the thought process that was being done in that clip, and I'll share with you guys what I think, for me, would be a great way to pull myself out of that negative thinking, or that depression, or that anxiety. And that's basically it, in a nutshell. So I will be having guests on there, but not as much as the real Paul show. Ramblings of a Fellow Sojourner is a way for me to do and learn how to do a podcast without editing. And therefore, it's going to be a totally different. And not only is it different in the content, but it's different in the way the show is going to be done. So I really look forward to being back with you guys. I miss actually being on the air. The interviews are fun. I love talking with the different musicians. And, and the editing, the editing is fun. And the, the publishing, it's fun, but the promos are so much work, people. I heard that before with musicians, but now with the podcast and actively doing it, I am surprised at how much time it takes to do all of this social media work. It seems like the podcast has been evolving in season two incredibly. I'm excited to see which way it'll evolve in season three. And just a side note to put at the end so that you can remember this. I want to hear you guys. I don't want this podcast to only be one direction. I would love to get feedback from you guys, even if it's just putting a star on a podcast or a, uh, uh, a review. You can do reviews on Audible. Um, you can do reviews on Apple. I think you might be able to do reviews on, on Spotify, but I'm not sure about that. I know you can do stars on Spotify though. And I do put questions to be answered on a lot of the Real Paul Show podcasts that I've put out. Uh, I will be putting a lot more questions to be answered in Ramblings of a Fellow Sojourner. So if you want to look at those and rate them and star them for me, I would really appreciate that. That does a lot for the work that I put into it for promotional. The likes, the reviews, the comments, 
those are the other piece of my promotional work. Without both pieces, my promotional work goes to the wayside. So I really do appreciate it when you do take just the two seconds it takes to click a star, to click that like button, to click the review button. It's very appreciated. So with that, I'm going to leave you guys and I hope and pray that everything is well with you and I'll see you May 31st. Save the date and we'll start telling you more about what next shows are coming out. Check out my Instagram. I have a lot of the lineup already on Instagram through pictures of the episode covers that are going to be coming out. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your support. And Love you guys. See you May 31st.